Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I did a whole makeup collection, like going through all of my makeup video. So I went through everything from foundations to palettes to concealers, like everything that you guys could think of. So if you want to see all of my makeup and see my thoughts on some products, then make sure you just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I kind of figured it was like only appropriate to start out with primers just because that is like the first thing that you use in your makeup routine. So the first primer that I have is this Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. I think I've used this in a past video. I really like this primer. It smells really good and it is mattifying, but it doesn't dry out your skin. So that's always a good thing to have. Something else that I have for primers is this First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer. I love this primer. I actually put this in my November favorites, I believe, and it's basically gone now. I've got to get another tube really bad because I love this so much. I also have this ColourPop All-Star All Matte and Blur Primer. This is a really good primer too. It doesn't really smell that great. Like, I put that in the last video, but I don't know. It kind of feels like glue on the skin, which is good to keep your makeup on, but putting it on, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, another primer that I have is this Urban Decay Quick Fix Primer. I always use this. It's kind of hydrating on the skin and it doesn't make you oily or anything. It just really feels like hydrating and kind of just like you're spraying water on your skin. The other one that I really like is the Tarte Smoothing Primer. You guys have heard me talk about this over and over and over again. I like to use these two together. This is like my Holy Grail primers. So this one is awesome for smoothing out your skin. And then this on top just kind of hydrates everything and makes your skin look perfect. And then I also have this Milk Makeup Blur Primer. I used this in my full face of First Impressions makeup. And I've actually used this quite a bit since that video. I really like it. It's not as smoothing as the Tarte Primer, but it is still really good. The last primer that I have is this Marc Jacobs Primer. This is the Coconut Perfecting Face Primer. This can make your skin get a little bit oily if you do already have oily skin, but I really like this, especially if I'm using like a really matte foundation. This is one of my favorite primers to use. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to foundation. So I also have the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. So this was in the set like with the primer, but I don't like to use them together because I feel like that is really drying on the skin, at least on my face. But I love using these separately. This is awesome with the Marc Jacobs primer that I was talking about. So this is a really good foundation to have. I also have the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation, which I do really like this foundation. Um, it can be a little bit drying, but again, um, using that Marc Jacobs primer with this makes it look so much better and you don't get dry or flaky or anything. I also have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. I barely have any left, so I'm actually going to have to pick up a new bottle of this because this is one of my all-time favorite foundations. It's really hydrating on the skin and it just doesn't make you have any like dry patches or anything, so I really love this. Next, I have the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, which I got this in my ColourPop haul, like full face ColourPop video. I told you guys in that video that I really liked this foundation. So um, it's still, I don't have the right color in it, but I am going to order a new color to hopefully try and get my perfect shade, but I really like this. I also have the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation which I love this foundation. If we're gonna talk about like favorite foundations, this and the Too Faced Born This Way, these are my absolute all-time favorite foundations, like nothing better than these, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to concealers next, but I do have one eye primer that I wanted to put into this portion just because I don't have any more. So the eye primer that I have and that I've been using is the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. Next, I have the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Pretty sure that everybody has this concealer and everybody loves it. It's like more hydrating underneath the eyes and I mean it is pretty full coverage also, but you can build it up to make it like full, full coverage. So I really like this. Next, I have the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This is my everyday concealer. I mean, it's really full coverage and it's like borderline matte, like borderline like hydrating. So I really like this. Next, I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I picked this up in my ColourPop haul from two videos ago. I mean, it's just a normal concealer. Nothing too crazy about it. I mean, it's just there. I use it sometimes. Next, well, I guess you could say last for this portion, I have Tarte Shape Tape. Again, everybody has this. I feel like this and NARS Creamy Radiant are like the two that everybody has in their collection that they really like. 
Tarte Shape Tape is obviously a little bit more full coverage than the NARS one, and I really like this also. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to powders. So I've got a few different powders that I really like. So first I've got the Kat Von D Lock It Powder. This will literally keep your makeup on all day and you will literally be matte from like the second that you put it on until you take it off. But this has terrible flashback. Like every time I wear it and I've taken a picture, it is like stark white on my face. So I love this powder if I know I'm not going to be taking pictures. If I'm going to be taking pictures, then I like steer clear from this powder. But if I'm not going to be taking pictures, I love this. Next, I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, which this is really good for smoothing out your skin. I mean, I have really bad pores just like right here. And if I use like a pore filling primer and set my foundation with this, I look so smooth. But again, this does have a little bit of flashback in it. So, um, not like an everyday powder just because I do take a lot of pictures, but if I know I'm not going to be taking pictures or anything, I love this. Next, I have the Patrick and Mac powder. I really love this powder. I put this in a few videos ago. I mean, I use this all the time. Like I said, I'm not going to keep on using it once it is like discontinued again, but for now, I'm going to keep on using this. Next, I have Laura Mercier. Everybody has this powder. It's like one of those things like Tarte Shape Tape. Everybody has this in their collection. Everybody loves it. So this is a powder that I really like. Next I have the Huda Beauty powder. I know there was like some controversy about this when it came out that they were trying to copy Beauty Bakery I think because it's like pound cake and like it's their whole like line was about like baking. I'm not exactly sure but the product is good. I'm not really into like the drama about makeup. I mean, if the product's good, the product's good. So that is the Huda Beauty setting powder. So I'm gonna do all of my palettes separate, but um, so I'm gonna do like my single like bronzer, single blushes, and single highlights, and then I'll move on to palettes. But for bronzers, I have just two single bronzers just because I usually do buy palettes. But the first one that I have is this Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade Bronze. I really like this bronzer. It's kind of a more like orangey tone. Gives you like a sun kiss like you're at the beach kind of bronze. So I really like this. I don't really actually see a lot of people talking about this. But I saw it at Sephora. The packaging is kind of like what drew me in. But now that I've used the product, I actually have it on today. I really like it. And then I also have Benefit Hula Bronzer. Really like And then for blush, I actually don't really have that many blushes that are just single pan. I have a lot of palettes. But one blush that I have is my Laura Geller Tropic Hues. I actually got this in a boxy charm. It's really pretty. Not something that I wear every day, but I do have it and just to keep it around. And then I have the Fenty Beauty Yacht Life Matchstick, which is just a cream blush. So, so like I already said, I don't really have a lot of like single products when it comes to cheek products. I do usually buy palettes, but I've got a few single highlights. So the first one, I don't really know if you would call this a highlight. It's just like the lighting powders from Hourglass. And I have the shade Luminous Light. So I actually put this all over the face usually. I do usually put it down on like my cheeks and then add a normal highlighter on top of it. And then I'll take like a big fluffy brush like this and just kind of go around and dust it across the face just to give a more like luminous look. But so I don't really know if you'd call this a highlighter, but I'm just going to put it in the highlighter category. Next, I have another Fenty Beauty matchstick. This is in the shade Trippin'. It's just kind of a peachy highlighter shade that I'll put down and then I will top it with a powder highlight. Next, I have the ColourPop highlight in the shade Flexitarian. Love this. This was like the most amazing product that I tested out in my like ColourPop haul video that I posted two videos ago. I love this. I actually have it on today and this is one of my favorite highlighters. And then I have all three of the highlighters from Laura Lee Los Angeles. So I have the shade Sugar and Spice, and I have the shade Warm and Toasty, and then I also have the shade Sweet and Saucy. And then I also have the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. This is just like kind of the putty highlighters that they came out with. And then I also have the Jeffree Star Highlighter in the shade Peach Goddess. Okay, and then for brows, I have a few different brow products. My everyday brow products that I always use are the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate and then the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. But if I ever like to switch it up, I do have the two ColourPop products that I got in my ColourPop haul video. This is the Brow Boss Gel, which is just the Tinted Brow Gel. 
And then I have the brow boss, like the pencil in the shade brunette. If I'm going for a more natural brow, I like to use the Anastasia brow powder in the shade dark brown. These have like a split pan, so I'll go in with the lighter shade at like the front of my brows just to kind of define it. And then I'll fill everything in with the darker shade right here. So now I'm going to move on to my favorite part of makeup, which is palettes. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about, I think, is face palettes, and then I will move on to eyes. So the first face palette that I have is the Morphe Hi-Fi palette. I've shown this in a few videos, but it is just the palette that has bronzers and then also some highlights in it. This right here is almost an exact dupe for the Fenty highlighter. I think, I don't know, like the really gold one. But um, I've swatched them together before, and that looks almost exactly like it. And then next, I have the Morphe palette, which is the 8W, which just looks like this. It's just a big, these kind of are all shimmery, so these can be used as highlights or as blushes. And then all of these are blushes. This shade right here is a little bit more bronzy, so you can use that one as a bronzer also. Next, I have the NARS palette. This is just the Orgasm Infatuation palette. So it looks like this. The packaging is amazing on this. And this one has just the Laguna bronzer and then the Orgasm blush and the Orgasm highlight. Next, I have the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Sugar. So again, this is the one that everybody loves. I mean more, but this is a new one, but I really love this. And then I have the Kat Von D Contour Palette. Looks like this. Um, matte highlights down here and then bronzers and contour shades up there. And then I have the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. So this is just, it has highlighters, blushes, and bronzers. And then I have this like Z palette from ColourPop. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show it in here and then I might show it in the eyeshadows also. But I have a bronzer and a blush in here. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to like the most exciting part of my makeup collection. So I have like a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes and like when I say a whole bunch, probably like 30 eyeshadow palettes. So the first one that I have is this Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. I love this palette. I did a whole video dedicated to this and I love it. This gold shade right here is one of like my favorite eyeshadows. I use it all the time. So sticking to Dominique Cosmetics, I then have the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. I actually just got this for Christmas and I've played with it. I wore it on Christmas. I wore this like really bright yellow shade right here all over my lid and then used this peachy shade right here like in the center. All the shadows, this palette did not have that great of reviews, but all of the shadows in here performed really well. This shade right here, I think it might be just pressed a little bit too hard because if you like really dig your brush into it and spray it with Fix Plus or something, it works really well, but just trying to swatch it, not really a lot of pigment comes off, but whenever you actually like dig into it, it like works really well. So next, I'm gonna move on to Urban Decay. So I have the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette, which looks like this. I love all the tones in this. These like very like really pink tones are some of my favorite for eyeshadows. So this is a really awesome palette. And then I have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I put this on an Instagram story I think yesterday. But again, I got this for Christmas. I really like this palette. I love all the variations of colors in here without it being too bright. Like you can wear a green or a pink in here and it's still more like neutral. So I really like this palette also. Next, I'm just going to show you guys the Anastasia Norvina palette, which I put this in my last video, but I really love all the tones in here. This purple shade right here, I've yet to play with it, but I cannot wait until I get to use it. Okay, so next, I think I'm going to go in for Laura Lee Los Angeles. So I have three different palettes from Laura Lee. So the first one that I have is Nudie Patootie. This was like, I'm pretty sure her most popular palette that she ever came out with, but it just looks like this. You can see I do play with it quite a lot. I really like it. It's just like neutral colors. This is a good like travel palette. It is big, but it's pretty thin. So you can just like throw it in your makeup bag if you have like a big enough makeup bag and you'll still be able to fit everything else in it. And then I have the Sleigh Bell palette, which is just one of her mini palettes. Looks like this. I haven't really played with this much since the first video that I did using this palette, but I think that it's really pretty. This pink shade right here, I really wanted to try it out and actually forgot about it. So now that I'm like going through this, this is a good way for me to see what I haven't used in a while. So I'm definitely going to play with this a little bit more. And then I also have the Laura Lee Party Animal palette. 
So this has like the bright neon like crazy colors in it, but I didn't have any like bright colored or like colorful palettes until I bought this one. So I just wanted to have something like this in my collection so I could use it and do like more like fun looks on my channel and like on my Instagram and stuff. So I picked this up and I think that the quality of the shadows are really good in here. So next, I think I'm going to go in with Morphe. So this palette it's really dirty. I had a perfume like bust in one of my travel bags and it kind of like destroyed the palette. But I mean, this palette seals really well because I didn't get inside the palette or anything. This is the 15D Day Slayer palette. So it's like orangey tones in here, like neutral tones with like some pops of orange. I don't, I honestly don't know if I've ever used this. I looks like I've touched this shade right here, but I don't really know if I've actually used this palette before on my eyes. I have the happy hour palette the 15h happy hour so this has orangey tones again but this is more like peachy orangey tones so we've got like a pinkish orange shade right here some of the shimmers have a little bit more of a pinky tone in them so those palettes are really similar if you don't see them side by side but whenever you have them together they are like totally different as you can see this one is a little bit more orange and this one is a little bit more pink and then I have this one right here, which I actually broke this palette. This like black shade right here popped out. I think it was black, maybe like a really dark purple. I don't really know. But out of like this size palettes from Morphe, this one is my favorite. So this one is the Nightmaster palette. I'm scared to turn it upside down just since one pop, one did pop out. But I like this palette. This shade right here is one of my favorites in it. And then also this shimmer shade right here. And then I obviously have the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think this is one that most people do have in their collection. This is like the best Morphe palette that I've ever used. But again, you can see I've played with this a lot. It's pretty dirty. This shade right here is one of my favorites. Um, it looked, I've never even touched this blue shade right here, but I do think that it's really cool. I might do a look using that sometime. These shimmer shades right here are like amazing, literally. All the shades in here blend like butter. Like th this palette is so good. If you don't have this, you need this. And then I have the Morphe 24G, which um, I think I may have done a video using this. I'm not exactly sure. But this palette is the one that has like the huge pans in it. I really like this palette. It's got lots of pinks and browns and things like that in here. So this is a more like neutral palette with a little bit, like a few pops of color in it. So if you can fit a palette like this to travel, this is a good travel palette because you can do a neutral look, but also a, you have some like pops of pinks. So you can do some more colorful stuff also. And then I have the Morphe Dare to Create palette. This is like the first round. I don't have like the remastered or like whatever you want to call it whenever they brought it back. But um, this has like lots of colors in it, but also this whole row right here of like neutral colors. The black shade in the bottom did pop out, but um, and it shattered, so I don't have that anymore. But all the rest of the shades in here are really pretty. I use this all the time. Um, this like cranberry shade right here, I love that. And these greens down here are beautiful. If you pop this all over the lid with these two like in the crease, it looks so good. And then I have the Morphe James Charles palette. So this was in the first ever video that I did on my channel. I did, oh my God, I just almost dropped it. I did a look using this. So I kept the name sheet in here just so that if I did do another video with this, I'd be able to tell you guys the name. But it looks like this. You guys have probably seen this a million times all over YouTube. And then I have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. So I actually just picked this up yesterday. So I'm like really behind on it. But this is the Bling Boss palette. As soon as I got home from Ulta from getting this last night, I went ahead and used this. So some of the colors in here have been used. But um, I thought that this was really good. I don't know really what the whole drama was behind like them like not reformulating it or something. This does have like the V2 sticker on here. So I'm assuming this is like the new version. I don't really know. But from what I can see and like what I've swatched, this is a really good, like all the shadows in here are really good. And then this is the Dark Magic palette. Haven't used this. Like I said, I just dug into the Bling Boss palette whenever I got home last night. So I don't exactly know anything about the rest of them. I just know what I know from the Bling Boss. But that one was really good. And then we have this one, which is Ring the Alarm. I really like this one. Just like the color scheme of it. I haven't touched it or played with it or anything. But the color scheme in it is very me. I really like it. I have the Armed and Gorgeous palette, which looks like this. 
So we've got like some greens and some oranges in here. And then I have these Pretty Beauty Obsession palette. This one is the Amethyst one, which is purple. I really like this one. Purple pink tone eyeshadows are my absolute favorite. I have the emerald one, which is the green. So this is a really pretty palette. I used this in my, I think my November, no, I'm not exactly sure. I think maybe like testing out new makeup. I don't know, but I think I did this in a video. This shade right here is beautiful. It's kind of a topper shade, so you should put like a matte shade down and maybe like add that on top. But if you do that, it is so pretty. And then I have the Ruby Obsession ones, which is still in the package. I have not used this one yet, but it is super pretty. So I love this. I think I swatched this one whenever I bought it, but I have not actually used this on my eyes yet. But this palette is so pretty. And then I have two little palettes from ColourPop that I made myself. So I don't really know if I'm going to be able to... Yeah, there's just no way with my nails that I'm going to be able to get these shades out of here. But this is just one that I made. So we've got like a sparkly kind of like pink tone down here. And then more like... This is like a brown, but it has like kind of a red tone to it to go with like the reddish and like pink shadows that we've got going on down here and I just have like a true brown one of basically the same thing so like a bronzy glitter like shimmer shade right here which is brown tones to build up the crease and I have the Tarte make believe in yourself I wanted this palette so bad last year for Christmas I'm like as you can tell by my shirt, I like love like unicorn, like mermaid, sparkly stuff. But like my shirt with like these like sequins on it and then the palette looks like this. It came, I think they have like a unicorn collection. But the only thing I really wanted out of it was the eyeshadow palette. And then I have this Pure Night or Midnight Masquerade palette. This came in a boxy charm. I haven't even touched this yet, <laughs> but just since I haven't used it before, I don't have any thoughts on this. This was actually my second ever like high-end eyeshadow palette. So uh, the shade right here, it actually busted, and so I had to press what was left of it back down because I love this palette. As you can see, like I dug into a lot of these shades quite a bit. This palette is really pretty, and it, so I mean I still have it. I don't use it as much as I used to, but I really do like this palette. And then I have this vintage filter palette. It's just like the Sephora brand. Um, I really don't use this at all. It was on sale at Sephora one time, so I just picked it up with like what was left on my gift card that I had. It was just like a free sample. I think I bought like some NYX glitters or something like that, so then I got like a free sample of this. But it hasn't even been opened. I haven't used this. I don't normally use palettes that are like that size. I like, like the big pan palettes. I have this Smashbox palette. The packaging on it is pretty cute. I got this in a boxy charm. So it looks like this. I have touched, let's see, this shade right here. I don't really like lipsticks that are in a palette like this. I would much rather have lipstick in a tube. Like I'm not gonna carry something like this around. Like I said, the packaging is pretty cute, but I'm not gonna carry something like this around in my purse to retouch my lipstick. And then I have this Night Tingle, I think that's what this says, pretty vulgar palette. So it looks like this. This shade right here is really pretty. Um, this also came in a boxy charm. I've dug into it a few times, but not enough to really have any thoughts on it. And I have this Crown Pro palette. I believe this also came from a boxy charm, but it just looks like this. Not a palette that I use a lot. And then lastly, I have this Lime Crime Venus XL palette. This palette was seriously so good. So I just used it the one time that I used it in my video, but I really like it. I don't really know why I haven't dug back into this. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to sprays. So for facial sprays, I already showed you guys this one in the primer collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that one back. I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, which I really like this. I like to use this to wet my brush or in between. So if I'm like, I've got my full face done and then I'm moving on to my eyes, I'll spray this on to kind of like get my eyes a little bit tacky so they stick, shadow stick better to it. And it kind of like melts all the powder products into my skin. And I have the ColourPop All Star Setting Spray. This setting spray is good. It smells really good, honestly. Um, I don't feel like it really made my makeup last any longer, but I do really like the setting spray just for like melting everything into the skin. And I have the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 um, setting spray. It's like the 
replenishing primer and setting spray so I really like this it smells really like so good it smells like coconut water the sprayer on this is not that great it kind of is like like the sprays are like really big and it just like goes to like each section it doesn't like miss the whole face but it smells really good again if you're just looking to kind of put something underneath your makeup this is good and then I have the cover effects illuminating setting spray so this is really good if you're looking to have like a dewy look on your face I use this today on top of my makeup and as you can see it kind of just leaves a nice glow on the skin so you do have to be careful with this though just because it can leave like flux of like glitter on your face I actually changed out the sprayer on this. I took this one from a Mario Badescu spray that I had just because the sprayer was better on it. And the sprayer that it came with kept on getting clogged up. So I just went ahead and switched it out since I had another one that was available. And obviously I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have like backups of these two. So I have this one and then I have two more um, on my shelf just because I don't ever want to run out of this. If I'm looking to keep my makeup on all day, this is what I use and it works so good. And then I have the Smashbox. Um, I think this was the Nicole Concilio collab. Her name isn't anywhere on this, but it's just, I think this was her collab with them in the Serene Citrus scent so this smells really good I like this as a primer also I mean it's like a priming water so obviously it's for priming but I see people like setting their makeup with it I don't necessarily like it for setting makeup because I do feel like it leaves my um, foundation a little bit splotchy underneath it but um, for primer I really like this so I think I'm going to talk about lipsticks now three liquid lipsticks from Kat Von D I have this shade Bajas, I think, Bow and Arrow, and Lovecraft. Both of these, I mean, all three of these are really good. Bow and Arrow is one of my favorites. I actually got it in a boxy charm and I use it all the time. So that is those. And then I have the whole nude set from Jeffree Star. So they're just like the minis. I really like these. And I have all of the lipsticks from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, I am missing one. I don't really know where it's at. But I got like the box set of like all three of like her Nudie Patootie lipsticks and then all three of the holiday collection. She has one of my absolute favorite liquid lipstick formulas because it doesn't dry out my lips at all. Which liquid lipsticks do normally dry out my lips. And so having that not dry out my lips, I need her to come out with more shades so that I can get all of them and I won't have to deal with my lips being dry anymore. Then I have three liquid lipsticks from Morphe. All of these are really pretty. The shade Bloodshot is like the really deep red shade. I do feel like that is a little bit patchy, but sometimes I will go in with a lip liner first and then I'll put that on top and it looks a little bit better. And then I have two of just like the bullet lipsticks from Morphe. I have the shade Lust and then I have the shade Morphe. So I have both of those. One lipstick from Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade Uncuffed. So I really like this. The packaging on it is like to die for it, literally. So I love that. Two lipsticks from ColourPop. I have a liquid lipstick that online looked a little bit more nude and it's bright pink. And then I have the shade LA Lady, which is kind of like an orangey color. So I've got three glosses from her. I have one of the super glitter glosses in the shade Glitz. I have Coco K and then I have literally and then I have three velvets so I have the shade Shook, Charm, and Savage. So Shook and Charm in person do look really similar but on camera I guess they are picking up a little bit differently. So Savage is a little bit darker and then Charm is a little bit more pink. And then I have three of the matte lip kits. So I have Clove which is like my favorite I don't really know where the lid is at to this. I pulled it out of the bag and the lid was gone. But Clove is my absolute favorite lipstick. I wear it all the time. I put it in my last video. I wear it like every single week. Like I'll at least wear it once a week. And I have the shade Candy K. So this I think was like one of her original like colors. I do like it. It's a little bit more pink than I would normally go for. But I have it now so I'll just wear it anyways. And then I have the shade Autumn, which is an orangey toned lipstick. I really like this. I wore this a lot in fall, even in summer, because it's like pretty orange. So you can do this with like a like orange and like yellow eye look, and it looks really good. And then the two last things that I have to talk about. So I have some mascaras. I like to go through mascaras pretty quickly. I don't keep them for that long. So the first one that I have is the Too Faced Better Than Sex, 
whenever they came out with this sparkly like really pretty packaging I actually pre-ordered like four of them and so I have these like stocked up because I love the packaging on this and I did not want to run out of it I have the it cosmetic superhero mascara really like this one also and then I have the urban decay troublemaker mascara talked about this in a few videos now and then I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel but this is the Tarte lifted mascara it is sweat proof so basically it's waterproof I do like this it I have it in it's kind of a dark brown shade I don't really know if the camera is gonna pick it up in comparison to it being black but this is a good mask and I have three eyeliners that I'm gonna tell you about so I have got the Kat Von D ink liner and then I have two eyeliners from ColourPop so I have got the shade crybaby which is purple and then I have the shade swerve which is just black so this was like almost my full makeup collection if you guys would like me to go more in depth and kind of like swatch some of my favorite palettes and stuff like that I'd love to do that for you guys too but I didn't want to add that in I'm pretty sure this video is going to be like an hour long now so I don't want to add anything else into it and have it be too long so for now that is all I'm going to do for my makeup collection so I really hope that you guys like this video. It has been really requested. I've got lots of DMs to do something like this and also comments on my videos. So I wanted to do something like that for you guys. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe down below. But for now, that is the end of this video. And so I'm gonna get this uploaded as soon as I can. And I've got two new videos after this one coming later this week and next week. So I really hope that you guys liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.